Hey guys, Charles Shark Reviewer, and today we're gonna be reviewing the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Deluxe Class Paleo Tracks. So, here he is in his T Rex fossil mode thing, I guess. I don't know. It's basically a skeleton of a T Rex. Well, could be, maybe, depending on what T Rex fossils actually look like. Maybe this is just fossils of Spielberg's T Rex, or. Maybe it could be the real-life T-Rex, who knows, but uh, before we look at Dinosaur, uh, let's take a look at the card, or card, I, I forgot which card I got with Payo Trucks, is either the Optimus Prime one, which we know is just him flying in space, uh, well, in case if you haven't seen it already, I forgot which card I got with Payo Trucks, I mean, it doesn't matter, because it can vary for you, uh, so yeah, there's, there's that, but, uh, or I thought it was the Autobot Arc, I thought I got with Megatron, this is my only Autobot arc. I have plenty of regular arcs from Wave 2. Uh, I thought I heard show this on here, so I forgot where I got that from. Uh, the Autobot arc goes. It's one of the deluxes. I, it wasn't She or Warpath. I thought it was Paleo Trex, Black Ragnar. It could be Megatron, or I don't know who, but anyways. Uh, so Now, before you ask, why are you, again, why are you reviewing a Wave 1 figure in May? Well, you see, I got these guys months ago, which is why I forgot which card I got with this guy. Uh, but, there was different times, so like, you know, the figure, the deluxes finally came in all at once, and of course, at the same time, I was getting other figures, and then for Wave 1, I completed it, and then of course, right as I was reviewing those, Wave 2 dropped, I reviewed some of the figures already, and, uh, so yeah, it, 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 I just... I, since the Wave 2 was the new stuff, I figured I'd have to review that stuff first. But this is the only exception where I'm not going to review it right as soon as I get the figure. Because I did get Ractonite recently, but because uh, Paleo Trucks is like Ractonite is a fossilizer, I thought I should probably take a look at Paleo Trucks first to also get out the re review all the way, but also again, so that way we can see all the gimmicks, like the combining and all that in comparison. So. I thought this time would be better if I reviewed an older figure first. I mean, it's not that old, but by now, most should have this figure. But anyways, but so so but it's better late than never, as I say. But yeah, I've, I've had this for like February, not early March, I don't know. But anyways, there's the details. The details on this are nice. Kind of looks like a dug up, recently dug up fossil. It was in very dirty dirt, especially over here. I do, I do like the details on here. Now, Ractonite is a little more bone looking because, well, it's more natural. So, I think Ractonite's my favorite, but I definitely do like the paint on this. So, yeah. All around pretty nice. And again, I, the, my favorite part is that head sculpt. I have special as teeth. So, I think those are good. So, yeah. And then, of course, we got kind of visible head syndrome, yeah, they had nowhere else to put it, but at least it fills in this gap here, so that's good. Uh, but it looks like he's got bunny or someone's, like, doing this, but, uh, he looks like he's kind of got a little crown. So, overall, very nice, do like that, especially with the same Transformer we've gotten previously. And like the other bone formers, this is a Predacon. Pale Trex is a Predacon. Uh, yeah, so all the fossilizers and bone formers, since, well, obviously we know Vertebrake is not a fossilizer, but is a bone former for being, well, made of bones, pretty much, uh, is a Predacon. But in Wave 3, we're going to get two bone formers that are actually Maximals. So we're getting a fossilizer that have Wing Finger, a Pterodon, and a uh, Trachodon, I think. Just a green repaint of good old break, but uh, yeah. Anyways, articulation wise, nothing for the neck. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess there's this, but then there's this little gap here, so that's not meant for that. Uh, we, got, we did get jaw. Nice jaw. This is probably my favorite part. Is going. Brah. So that's pretty cool. I get ball joints at the little tiny arms, and you can go in and out and all that, and. Some nice joints there. No elbow or wrist, but certainly that's tiny arms. How can even do that? 
Uh, legs, you get lots of articulation. You go all the way. That's not how that's supposed to go. Also, you can get nice uh, in and out movements and oh, <laughs> uh, ripped off. And yeah. So yeah, this figure is pretty much a parts former, but it makes sense because of the gimmick. So yeah, you get nice, nice. Well, it's it's kind of hard here because I mean, it's, yeah. uh, you do get feet swivel and knee swivel, kind of. I mean, it's pretty tight, but and of course, it knee bends and all that, and the toes do move. So it's nice, and they can even get. There's tons of movements here. It's quite hard to describe all these movements. All that. And then of course the tail's easier, it can go up, and it can go only down as far, and uh, kind of angle uh, over here. So yeah, uh, kind of lots of articulation, especially in the legs, but at the same time not. So I don't know where to, what to say about the articulation on this figure, as at least in dynamo or robot mode, I could definitely tell easier, but this one's, this one's kind of weird in terms of articulation, but... Again, since it's a bone former, that rip apart the robot, tear, you know, tear apart, you could use as armor, and then, in, or you could also put it together as a dinosaur. Yeah. It's pretty weird, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, overall, pretty nice. Like the design of this. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get into some size comparisons and I'm not even sure how to stand this up alright all right, so starting off for comparison we got Cheetor because well wave mate so we gotta do it uh, I won't do Warpath in the tank mode because I'm gonna show off Warpath later I will do robot mode comparison that doesn't matter but uh, just to show off what we're gonna see in a bit so yeah there's, there's that here he is with vertebrae, so we got a bone former, so the only bone former that's not a fossilizer. So there we have that, and finally here we have the Beast Megatron from Kingdom. So you can see the two T Rexes that we got. T Rex, it's not a fossil, and one that is. So, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, today's a darker day, so that's why it's not as light. But hey, we gotta work with what we gotta work with. Some days it's super bright, some days it's perfect, some it's not. So yeah, anyways, for yeah, we're all done with this. So anyways, for transformation, it's not really transformation. This is where I can actually say this is parts for him, but it's actually meant to parts for him because there's all the gimmicks that come in, so they figured, hey, let's make it a parts for him. So, so the, for this figure, it's an exception. I mean, I don't criticize parts forming unless it's actually bad. Like, let's say we have an Optimus Prime truck that overly parts forms. So yeah. So what you want to start off with, you just want to undo the head from here. Let's see, again, you can see this is sculpted in so it could fit these spikes on the head. And then swivel the neck around here. And then we'll get to the rest of that later. And then uh, next, just... just Basically, just start tearing off everything because that's what you gotta do. So yeah, you just do all the hat. Uh, just remove the legs. Uh, you want to split the tail in half here. This will become a weapon. This will become part of the one of the arms. Then you want to split this section right off here. You're gonna do the same over here. All right, we got a bunch of parts here. The next thing you want to do is you want to undo this. Piece, and remove the chest piece here for the robot mode. And next, unattach these pieces. So we can remove this. And then you want to split these pieces in half. So after that, we got it all good to go. So uh, so let's actually transform this. So let me focus in here. So uh, yeah. Let's make sure it's all good. It's all good. All right, I think it should be. So what I want to do is, uh, yeah, I just want to put this all the way back here. There's this little post here, and then I'll go in here. I, will, I guess we'll do robot mode first before the whole weaponizing gimmick or fossilizing gimmick as we're running it. So we'll get out of it. Uh, anyways, so next thing I want to do is you want to attach this piece to this side. It's officially this side. You can mix and match 
pending. It could work for some parts, couldn't for some. And just want to rotate that bicep area around. And next, just want to get one of the, uh, not this side, because this side's exposed. So we'll do the other one with the smaller pin sections. And then uh, first, uh, shore down this piece, so we're squeezing in. So, you have that going on. Uh, and then rotate this around. And then you just want to attach that in to there. And once you got that, there you have one of the arms. Alright. So that's one of them. Uh, let's do the other. So this one is goes on this side here. So I'm going to attach it. And then do a similar thing. We just rotate that around so that faces the bottom. So, and then squeeze the section here and attach it in. All right, and then swallow the hand around. So you got giant arms. I know those arms are giant, but next you just want to attach the chest plate section here, chest piece, so you can show off who he really belongs to with action. And then next, I lowered out down these dino arms here, and then one of these sections down. So they kind of look a bit more like legs, and then finally, I want to attach this the peg on top into the uh, torso of the bone. So that way, is again some legs. He's got waist and thighs and hips and all that, but he doesn't have the rest of it. So uh, next, I just want to flip these pieces back. These are the final parts here. So I just want to so they're heel spurs, and then you want to make sure uh, the one with uh, this side, yeah, this side, because you don't want this side uh, sticking out here. So you just want to attach that in to here, and you do the same over here. So, once you got that, there you have the robot mode. Oh, and finally, what you want to do here is, this is a bow mask there. That's really cool, but you just want to lift it up, and there you have Paleo Trex's face, and yeah, we'll get into this in a bit. Something that I totally forgot about. Uh, I remember totally when I first got the gun, but I forgot. And then finally, I just want to attach this tailpiece as a weapon. It's pretty small in his hand, but hey, what else has he got to, as a weapon? He's got to use what he has. So once he got that, there you have the old Paleo Tracks in his robot mode. And I gotta say, that is. A pretty cool looking robot, but pretty terrifying in fact. Uh, so you don't want to mess with this guy at all. But anyways, all around, be nice. Let's take a look at the details. Let's take a better look at these details. We got a face here, we got nice yellow eyes. And uh, yeah, again, lots of bone tea deal going on. So very nice. In the back, yeah, he's got the backpack, but I quite like this. Again, I don't care about, like, I saw parts for them, I don't really care about the backpacks. As long as they're not, like, pfft, this is, like, where you can see them all over the place. And the only exception to that is the Haslab Unicron, which, by the way, I don't have, just for those wondering if I did, but I never decided to review them. I actually know it was just a, it was the joke because he's so expensive, and it's like, hey, why not make that the review? Uh, that was just a joke video. So, yeah. But anyways, uh... So articulation, uh, again, he's got a nice too, but articulation, he's got neck movement, so he can move all around here. And then uh, he can look down a bit and uh, up a bit, not that great, but he can still do it. And then he's got arm rotation here, you can go full 180 degrees and can go out the sort of, oh man, I got those all in there, because uh, of this. And then bicep rotation and elbow rotation and wrist rotation and finger rotation. He's got a lot of articulation in the arms, uh, waist swivel, uh, legs do kick up. Alright, right, so they kick up this much and then back that much. Well, that's pretty big. And out this far. And these do bend this far, and no ankle pivots, unfortunately, or anything in the feet. So, yeah, that had to be a sacrifice for that, but it will. I mean, you can do this. Oh, yeah, there's that. You can do that. But, 
So, yeah, so pretty good articulation, especially in the arms. I do like that, and I do like how you can definitely tell he's looking up and down. Just not that great of a job at it, but you can still do it. So, yeah, that's uh, very, very nice. And uh, so, yeah. Now, of course, everyone's going to ask me about this, the, the skull thing. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get into that when we do the weaponizing parts uh, for him. So, yeah, overall, pretty nice robot mode. Uh, is that the best Transformer ever gone? No, of course, it's not going to be the Transformer, best Transformer ever gone. But I think this is a nice little figure to have, especially, again, once we get into the fossilizing part. I should just say weaponizing, but it's the theme of fossilizing, so I'll just say that. Because they replaced uh, weaponizers from Siege, and I think they're called modulators. I forgot what they're called in Earthrise. Uh, with good old fossilizers here, which I'm actually collecting. Like, I got six gun, and I do have cog from Siege, and I was in it, unfortunately. I don't know what I found for. But yeah, they're, he's so big, it's like, it's hard. Okay, let me lower these down. That may be a bit of a problem. He may have a bit of a standing problem. Can, can this guy stand? <laughs> I've actually never really had a problem standing. If you guys know some areas, like, I try to, I just do it so I know it's straight enough, but. Here I'm actually this time having problems with the stack, so. Uh, well, anyways, let's get in size comparison once I strain them up. So, we. So, for some size comparisons, uh, here he is with Lux Cheetor, his weight mates here. Okay, stand straight. Yeah, baby. Yeah, there that. Uh, here is what this other way you made warpath again to these two layer speaking of getting into these two layer here is with optimus primal here is with fellow bone former over break and finally as leader his boss and a fellow T-Rex. Good old Megatron. Yes. So, there you have those comparisons. So, yeah. Alright, so now let's go into what I think is probably my favorite part with these fossilizers, especially with Paleotrex. It is, of course, the fossilizing gimmick, which is basically like the weaponizing gimmick from Siege. With again, Cog, Six Gun, Brunt, you know, all those characters. Uh, but this time they're fossil themes of dinosaurs. So, uh, so yeah, as the instructions on in the box promote for Bale Trucks, I have him with uh, his armor on Warpath. So, now there's many different fan ones and I'm not sure if mine's is like exactly as I was, so I'm just gonna say I'm gonna do it like what I like. Um, so, yeah, there's plenty of different ones. You can use them as a weapon, you can use them as armor or in different ways, or you could take Ractonite and Paleo Tricks and combine them together. I've not tried that yet, but that all sounds pretty nice. So, if you wanna look for more different modes and try looking up, like people's fan modes and ask how to do it or see a tutorial uh but i'll just do one for you guys here so i can look at the gimmick so like before you just want to rip off all the parts this time you can remove that oh, and the arm came off for me so that's nice uh, and it's very long because as you can see it becomes a mace but since it's a head it's quite disturbing so what you gotta do is you gotta lift this back down like before and Oh my gosh, something looks familiar. Oh yeah, it's the same skull we saw earlier. Just kidding. So in the original Optimus Primal toy, let's get everything else out of the way. He came with the mace. So, uh, well, he came with a few different weapons he make. So he had uh, the missile things, or at least one of them that was from his hand, but in this one they come out of his forearms, and he's got the swords, he's got the cans on the sides here. Yeah, many different things, but one of them was a skull mace. Now, of course, that had like a chain, and it was just dangling down, and uh, and on it, it had, again, a skull. He has maces with a skull to keep the beast theme. 
And with this guy, his uh, his bow mask will say, I'm not sure, I guess it could be that. It resembles, it for sure is referencing the skull mace, or the skull that was used on the mace. So, uh, so with this guy, uh, you can remove it and it can be used as a mace weapon. So, uh, well, kind of, I mean, it's, it's kind of go donk, 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 donk. It's, yeah, it's not a mace, really, but it's, you got the skull from it, but it's just not dangling around. It's just, hmm, donk. So, yeah, it's not really much but I, I do like that so in case if you just buy buy paleo trucks and just want it for to be a completionist with like with the original optimus primal toy there you go so yeah that that was uh quite interesting so yeah but anyways let's remove uh these parts here and uh actually i'll do this off all off camera for you guys all right, so I got all the parts here. I put it together. Uh, well, I'll show how I put it on Warpath, but I pretty much got it prepared, so we can just attach it all. Uh, so I kept uh, put these back on here, the lower legs, because I remember these I like cannons. I think this is what they have in the back of the box. So if I'm not doing this correctly, I guess you could say this is my own mode, maybe. But, uh, but anyways, firstly, you just want to remove this. This is my mode. I think it's cool, but if you want your own, you can find others. So uh, first, you just attach this in the back here pretty tight but then once you get in it's all nice and good and then next you just want to i guess this could be his nice weapon and you also have this as a shield so, yeah. and then next uh let's get a little nice and brighter here again yeah, not really yeah it's a pretty dark day so yeah it's unfortunate uh but oh, wait there we go. Keep that one consistent. And this is all good. All right. So you just attach this here. Actually, like this. So he's got kind of bigger feet going on. And you do the same here. Let's attach it at the bottom. So yeah, this is kind of weird, but hey. And next, you can just put this. On the side of his arm. Trying to get that on. Alright. And finally, the big weapon. So, what I just do is I do this. And this. I definitely didn't, totally didn't do it from the instructions. No, I did this from the instructions. I just want to try it out. See, you know, look at my hands. This is my favorite one. I think it goes like this, or is it this? Yeah, I think it's this. Uh, so, let's attach this in here. And once you got that, oh boy, this is pretty massive, but there you have my little combined mode. This, this, I believe, has where it has in here, but I, I just really like it, so I just use this. So, yeah, there I have that. Again, if you want to check for more of these kind of fan things with PO tracks and all that, just go on YouTube or online somewhere. You could probably find other versions they could do with it. So, yeah, there you have that. So, there you have my review of Paleo Tracks. And, yeah, overall, real nice figure. Uh, I would recommend, unless if you don't want these bone formers or fossilizer and just want the traditional transformers that transform into whatever vehicles, animals, I mean, it's, these turn into animals, but still, like, you know, without tons of parts for them, just don't care for the gimmick. That's fine, but as a figure, these these are really good uh, payload tracks now. So, yeah, I recommend picking up again if you don't want them, that's fine. So, yeah, there you have that. And I apologize for this being one of those occasional dark reviews where, well, the room's not bright enough, so I can't brighten up everything and see, see all this here. It's just, yeah, kind of looks a bit ugly, but hey, hopefully next week it's a bit brighter. So, yeah. But anyways... Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more. Let me know down below what you guys think of this figure. Do you like it or not? So, yeah. But anyways, until then, till all are one.